As the Golden Girls once said, thank you for being my friend. I'm told I only have 90 seconds, but how can I put 60 years into 90 seconds? I laughed. There were so many honors and dinners that Buddy would ask and my husband David followed, is this trip necessary? And Dolores would say, yes or no, but definitely. I know this evening is to honor you, Dolores, but it is my honor to be your friend. God bless you. Dolores, I have known you since I was 20, working in your home with you and Buddy, spending hours sitting at the IBM Selectric. It was heavy, but it was electric. Typing your speeches and letters galore, sometimes running errands to the store. At the temple for every event, that's because you were the president. Sisterhood, world union, and Bemisba training, you did it all without ever complaining. No one could keep up with you and all the wonderful things you would do. Moving on to your honors and your awards for all your good deeds and your time spent on boards. You have more than anyone could count, but Ellis Island is the one that stands out. A beautiful evening, September 1994, Ruth Westheimer, Peter Max, and many more. Yet Dolores and Ann Richards, they stole the show, outshining Larry King and Governor Mario Cuomo. Next, we were working with OTs and PTs. Some were not, but most were Israelis. Few comprehended you had real employment. And while it was fun, it was not pure enjoyment. Livingston, Mark, Andy, and I knew your job was important and of great value. Connecting with lawyers and licensing boards, it was hard work, but full of rewards. Trips to Chicago, New Orleans, and more. Traveling with you was never a bore. Counting your luggage again and again, how many coats could one suitcase contain? Dolores, my dear, you are my friend and my mentor. My surrogate mother, you will be evermore. You loved and supported me through good times and bad. And Dolores, there is so much more I could add. You taught me life lessons like how to be grateful, be honest and loyal and never be hateful. You taught me all about philanthropy and how to live life with all sincerity. I am blessed forever because of you. And I promise to always be an excellent Jew. I love you. Hello, Dolores. Dan Freelander here. Allow me to add my voice to all the tributes that are so deserved by you. Your passion for Reform Judaism has helped transform our community over so many decades. Your passion for its strong role for Reform Jewish women's leadership has changed women of Reform Judaism and the Union for Reform Judaism. Your strong passion for Reform Jews around the globe have helped us build progressive Jewish congregations throughout the world. Your commitment to the Reform Jewish future has helped create a Reform Jewish future. You have my personal deep gratitude and the gratitude of thousands and thousands of Reform Jews around the world for your efforts, for your passion, and for your wisdom. Thank you, Dolores. Hi, Dolores. I know you know this space. Um, I am so happy that you are being honored a second time by the sisterhood, or maybe the third, I don't remember, because I don't think we could honor you enough uh, in terms of what you deserve. So please know that everything that everybody says about you is absolutely the truth. And not only because you've done all the things you've done, but also because we care so much for you. Uh, we have shared a lot of years and a lot, been down a lot of roads together um, 
you as president, uh, working together on different things. But I have to share with uh, the people who are watching uh, this that I think my most memorable experience uh, with you and me together uh, was probably our, one of our most important, which was when we were invited to speak at the Hebrew Union College and share with the students there uh, the process that we went through to create the leadership bond between the, the lay leadership and the rabbinic leadership and go to the campus and not only show those students that it's possible, but talk about the process that we use and how we keep each other open to each other's ideas um, and how we work together, not just with you and me as the, pre you as the president, me as the rabbi, but with the whole leadership and being able to stand in front of the student body of um, Hebrew Union College and share those kinds of uh, experiences and talk about the importance of developing them with their lay leadership um, was really one of the highlights of my uh, experiences with you. And I'm, it was an honor to stand with you and speak to the students. And I, I can only hope they got out of it what we got out of it. So Mazel Tov again, I'm so happy that you're being honored. And please know that uh, I'm sending you all the love I can um, for many, many years of health, joy, and happiness to remain. Hi, Dolores. I am so proud and so pleased to have been asked to speak for just a few minutes about your role in the Women of Reform Judaism, formerly known as NFTS, or National Federation of Temple Sisterhoods. Now, we all know that <clears throat> it would take much longer than the time allotted to me to really talk about your role in WRJ. So I'm just gonna talk for a few minutes from my heart about you and about your role in WRJ. In 1989, I attended my first biennial. And what I remember is the number of women who said, oh, you're from Dolores' congregation? And I was like, mm, yeah. Now I understand why they asked me that question with that look of awe in their faces. At that assembly, you said, sisterhood is the bonding agent within each generation and between the generations through which we keep the promise of the covenant. Dolores, do you have any idea how many sisterhood women have been installed into leadership positions using installation services you wrote? Do you know how many women in WRJ land still talk about you and about the lessons you taught them about your kindness, about your mentorship, about your example of true leadership. And now through the Wilkenfeld International Seminar, your touch, your reach is even further because there are women all across the globe who are learning about the Wilkenfeld way of leadership, of motivation, of love for your sisters and care for your sisters. You taught us all so much and not just wear your lipstick so people can hear you. You taught us how to be strong, confident women. You taught us how to lead and to know when to follow. You taught us how to be women of Reform Judaism. And for that, we are eternally grateful and we love you. Mom, when you were elected Temple Sisterhood president, it was about when I was two years old, about 60 years ago. So my entire life has been experiencing what you have done and you have accomplished. And um, you have, done so many things and you have led so many efforts. But one of the things I've noticed is you always come back to sisterhood. Sisterhood is your foundation. Sisterhood is your safe spot. It's like coming home for you. And I really believe that you wouldn't have been able to do all the things you did 
and accomplish all the things you accomplished and make all the impact that you made had it not been for your work with sisterhood, which was gave you your start and gave you your strength. And I know how important it is to you that you are not just doing these things, but you are educating others how to do them. You are creating new leaders, creating new uh, strengths, um, uh, role modeling for the next generation and the generation after that. Um, I know what gives you such great pride is that you are doing the best kind of work, which is the work that lasts after we're gone, the work that lasts forever. And what's wonderful about tonight and that it circles right back around to sisterhood is it also circles back around to these next generations of leaders who are looking at what you have done and who you are, and they're drawing strength and gaining inspiration and carrying on your good work into the future. And because of that, I am so proud to be your son and to be here with you to celebrate this. And Serena and Melody and Jesse and I send you all of our love and let you know how proud we are of you on this very important day. Congratulations.